Hey guys, Motor Car Nod here, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble a piston on a connecting rod. Uh, uh, this is on a, a two, uh, Toyota, uh, the 2AZFE 2.4 liter engine. Got the block right there, we're rebuilding it. And um, unlike a lot of the cars, the, the pin, the piston pin does not have to be pressed in and heated up which would require, require a little bit more knowledge or a machine shop. This one, you can do it yourself. It's simple. This is what the old one looks like. All right, the new one, it just basically goes together. The, the piston pin slides in the connecting rod and we put it through the piston and it has circlips on both ends to keep the piston from coming out. Simple design. The first thing you wanna do <clears throat> is lube up the connecting rod on the top this is already lubed and put a little lube here and on this side you can use um, assembly lube like this I like this one this brand but you can use any you can even use oil next thing you're gonna do you locate the piston number one just mark on, okay this one is number four just mark on the new one number four if you're replacing them all all right put the little lube in there here and here now there's going to be an orientation you can't just put this piston on this way or that way all right it has indents over here for the intake valves and the exhaust valves and it has marks this one has two dots all right this one this one only has one dot but that's okay some manufacturers are different these are not factory pistons all right so the dots there as you can see there's cutouts over here all right, and you see how it's a little bit more meat over here, less meat here. And the same thing with this. You see this? It's dirty, but it's the same thing. You see over here is, is wider. All right, so that's what you want, that. So that means this piston with the marks, it goes down, which would be mean like this. And now over here, this usually indicates the front of the engine, right? You see this little uh, tab right here? So basically, this will go in the engine. If this was number four, and this is the fourth cylinder, it will go in like this, with this tab facing the front. So, and that matters when you're installing a piston. So that means that this rod has to be like this, with the uh, mark, with this thing down, and this one with this mark down, just like this one. See, down and down. And now, you just push the piston on, pin, piston pin. It's very, very tight tolerances. And now, let me stop this. And you don't wanna force nothing as you're putting it in. All right, you, you slide it in and you can wiggle this a little bit. Just make sure it has to slide in. A little, a little thumb pressure is all you need. You see that, how it slides right in nice? It should not bind to nothing like that. All right? Now, after we do that, we're gonna put the circlip. Now you gotta be careful with this. Wear eye protection. There's a little seam in here. Let me see if I could, uh... There's a little groove, I mean, I'm sorry. So what you do, try not to keep these two ends From here because that's basically how you can get it out you want to keep these two ends like that you want them away from it so you just put it in on an angle right and you hold it with your thumb like this while you take I'll show you okay it's not all the way in yet you hold your thumb here while you take the screwdriver and you pick up the edge of the circlip and Push it in. Don't put too much because you're gonna you'll, you'll distort the circle. All right. You wanna just like put it under 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 here like the, you hold your thumb on that side and you just swap push it in like that. All right. And now you have to just tap it in a little like so. And you have to make sure it's nice and flush. All right. And what you could do, you can just take a little screwdriver, put it right on it, and just give it a little tap so it goes nice and snug inside the groove. 
You just don't want this coming loose. Then you flip it over, push this down, and you do the same thing with that side. All right, put it in on an angle. Like that, you're gonna hold this with your thumb, and then you're gonna use a screwdriver to push the rest in. Just be careful, wear eye protection, because those things can shoot out and get you in the eye. Okay, and there you go. That's how it should, it should look with the C-clip spaces over here and not over here. The same thing on the other side. It should move nice and free with no play, obviously up and down. And you just check, you see, the mark is down and that's down just like this one. And there you go. No, no trip to the machine shop for this one. A lot of cars are like that. Some are pressed in, you know, where they would have, there is no C-clip. Basically, they heat up the rod with a torch and then they slide the pin in and center it up before it cools. And it gives you the same effect, but that you would, you know, if you're not too familiar with that, you would have to bring it to a machine shop and they could charge it like 15 bucks a piece. But fortunately, if you got a, a 2A ZFE engine, you can skip that step. All right, guys, motor car nut, please subscribe, hit that like button. Any questions pertaining to the video, leave them below. I answer all my questions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.